guys, it's been a year since I started keto. It seems hard to believe. I um, seems like just yesterday that I started. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the year that's been. And then I want to talk a little bit about what my plans are for this coming year. Um, I started keto in January of 2017 after years and years and years of struggling with my weight and sort of yo-yoing. Um, you know, I, I think like a lot of people, um, I was in really good shape in high school. Kind of, well, I was an athlete. I played basketball. Um, and when I went to college, man, did stuff fall apart. Um, people always talk about the freshman 15. Uh, I think my first semester at college, I gained 30 pounds, came home 30 pounds heavier than I left. Um, and then that's when my yo-yoing started. I, I would go through phases where I'd be heavy and then hit a point where I said, this is enough. I got to turn it around and get going in the right direction. It's just been a pendulum for like the last, you know, 25 years of my life. Um, until this January when I discovered keto, you know, I had seen keto. I had, I would often look at places like r slash lose it on Reddit for inspiration to see like progress pictures and transformation pictures and thought maybe that I could, that could be me. Maybe I, I could do this. So I'd seen keto, the word keto in passing, and I never really investigated it. Um, but in January of this year, I really dug in and did some research um, for a couple days and then dove in head first to this way of eating. Uh, I was roughly 274, 274 pounds. Um, this was me back then. Um, kind of uh, miserable, not comfortable in my own skin. Um, bereft of energy most of the time, just not feeling good. Um, and a friend of mine at work turned me on to keto and I knew within the first three days that it was for me. Um, after a very, very slight bout of keto flu, um, the third day of me taking on this way of eating, I woke up feeling amazing. I, f I woke up with a clear head. I woke up not hungry woke up with energy. I woke up well rested and that has just continued. And it's the main reason I've, the weight loss has been great, but those, those benefits, um, are just why, why I'm staying with it. The big thing with the diet was, was in the beginning doing what I'd heard and, uh, keeping my macros to 75% fat, 20% protein, 5% carbs. And I was really strict with that for the first five or six months that I was, eating this way, kept my carbs really low, tracked every single morsel of food that went into my mouth. Um, and by November of 2017, I hit my goal. I started 2017 with the goal of going from 275 to about 215, which is what I weighed when I was, you know, 18, 19 years old. And so I hit that goal in, um, in November, early November. And I was really proud of myself. This is the first sort of diet, quote unquote diet that I've ever done that I stuck with long enough to hit the goal that I set. Um, and what I found was that along the way, I set some new goals. I thought um, that I wanted to try to get down to Wonderland. I thought that I wanted to try to get down to under 200 pounds. But being a tall guy, uh, when I got to around 215, I felt really comfortable. And I felt like, you know, I... I don't know that I need to get to Wonderland. It's just an arbitrary number. I feel fantastic. This is the best I've felt uh, in my entire life, basically. I've been in maintenance for a couple of months now, um, keeping around somewhere, anywhere between like 212 and 217. I don't weigh myself daily anymore. I weigh myself maybe once every couple weeks. Um, and I've been in this area, you know. Um, I feel like I did make some mistakes along the way. I feel like I've learned from those. Um, if I had to do it all over again, there are some, definitely some things I would do differently. The first of which is I wish that I had found the keto Instagram community earlier on in my weight loss journey. I cannot begin to tell you guys how amazing and supportive, um, the keto Instagram community is, it's unbelievable. I've made some really good friends there and people who are of the same mindset, people who are going through the same thing. Um, it's really something, uh, it's amazing. And 
you know, in, in the beginning, I was using Reddit a lot for research. I still do use Reddit for, you know, doing some research. They ha Reddit has an amazing FAQ, um, but I found Instagram to be invaluable just for the support and for the camaraderie and for the fun. Um, there are people on Instagram, some of whom you've seen on this channel already. Like there are people who have been on this channel that I met through Instagram. There are people that you'll be seeing in the coming weeks that I've met on Instagram who are m some of my favorite people in the world. They're just fantastic. So that's the first thing I would suggest is if you're starting out this journey, find the support that you need, whether it's in your real life or whether it's people uh, on the internet, there are people out there who are doing the same thing you're doing and going through the same things you're going through and have the same questions and have some answers. Um, so if you're new to keto, seek out, seek out your people, find, find some people who are going through what you're doing. And I highly recommend Instagram. If you're over there, you can find me and, uh, it's, it's a great place to be. So that's the first thing I would advise, would have advised myself back in January, find your peeps. The second thing that I would tell January, 2017, Aaron, that guy, this guy right here is that, um, fat is not a target. You don't need to eat fat because you want your pie chart to look a certain way. You know, the classic keto macro pie chart, 75% fat, 20% protein, 5% carbs. Or what I really needed to focus on was getting my protein. Uh, as long as I got my protein, as long as I had enough protein in my diet to maintain my muscles and I kept my carbs low, fat could be anything. Um, fat is not a target that I had to hit um, because I have enough fat on my body, especially back in January, 2017, I had enough fat on my body um, to use for energy. I didn't necessarily need to eat it. There were days when I was stuffed to the gills and peeling an avocado because I, I needed to hit my fat target. Not necessary. Eat when you're hungry, but don't feel like you have to hit some fat target because fat's not a target. You're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. Don't beat yourself up. If you have a bad day, like Luke Skywalker, brush it off and start again the next day, you'll be fine. The third thing that I would tell myself if I were just starting keto is to take pictures and take measurements. I have only a handful of pictures from when I, from around the time that I started keto. I didn't like pictures being taken to me because I was not feeling comfortable with myself. Like this one on the day I started, watch out, there's some major dad bod coming up. Um, this is me on the day that I started keto and I blurred out my face. Didn't want to even have anyone know that this was me, but that's me back in January. And here is me from just a couple weeks ago. Um, major difference at 60 pounds down. So take those pictures because you're going to want to look back at them and look at how far you've come and measurements too. i never took measurements of myself when I started. I wish that I had, um, the only real measurement I have is my waistband on my jeans. Um, I was between a 40 and a 42 back in January and I'm wearing 34s now. So that's the only real measurement that I have from back then. So 2017 was all about losing my weight, getting down to where I was comfortable in my own skin, which I've done. So for 2018 going forward, I have some definite plans for this year. The first is maintenance. There are three M's basically. Uh, the first one is maintenance. I'm going to stay in this zone between 205 and 215. I'm very comfortable here. That's maintenance. That's where I'm going to be. The second one, the second M is muscle. I'm going to try to add some muscle this year. I've been doing a hundred pushups a day. I have a video coming up, uh, on this hundred pushup a day challenge that I've given myself. Um, so I've been doing that. And then the third M is marathon. I am going to run for the second time, the Mohawk Hudson marathon. Uh, here in New York's capital district. I ran it back in 2012, finished, uh, finished it, but felt really, really bad. Felt like my body was exploding the entire time. Uh, hit the wall at about mile 22 because I was on the standard American diet. I ran out of fuel. Um, 
I'm excited to do it this year because I'm fat adapted and I've been running half marathons on the weekend without really batting an eye. It's, it's, um, running fat adapted is something else. Uh, so I'm very excited to train for that and to give it another go in October. So that's been my first year of keto. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Let me, uh, listen to me kind of talk about what it's been like for this last year. Uh, if you're considering this way of eating, I highly recommend it. Do some research and just dive in. It is amazing. Um, let me know where you guys are in your journey. Have you just started? Are you thinking about starting? Have you been doing it for a while? Uh, what are your goals? And um, I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you dug this video. Uh, have a fantastic day and I will see you next time.